Hi, welcome back. We're going to continue on our series about the Dr. Hauschka day creams. Before I get into sharing with you about the next four day creams in the line, what I want to tell you about is how to actually use these day creams. So what you would do is in the morning after you've cleansed with the cleansing cream and then either applied the toner or serum, then you want to add your moisturizing day cream. So what I'll give you a little demonstration. I'll just take one of them here. So you don't need a lot. I'm going to put a little bit into the palm of my hand. So to show you, it's not very much at all. The Dr. Hauschka day creams are very concentrated, high quality ingredients. So there's no need to use a huge amount. And then what I'm doing here, I've got that in my hand and I'm just rubbing my hands back and forth like this. Why I'm doing this is I'm warming up the plant oils and the plant waxes. So a little bit goes a long way this way. And then what I want to do when I put it on is instead of um, rubbing it kind of around on my face, we're going to pat it into the skin. So just really gently pressing it into the skin, patting it into our, our skin. Just like this, treating our skin really gently. Something new that you might need to get used to doing. But uh, we want to do this with our skin. We don't want to be tugging and pulling on our skin. We really want to treat it like a royal robe. So, and each tube of your Dr. Hauschka day cream really should last you for about three months. So let's move along into, I'm um, just going to grab my rose day cream. So we left off at the last product we talked about was the rose day cream. So now this is the rose day cream light. This is a lighter weight formula than the regular rose cream. So it's not as rich, it's not as heavy. Uh, again, it's going to be good for skin that's sensitive, redness. Maybe it's something that if you use the Rose Day Cream, you would switch over to this in the summertime when you want something a little bit lighter. It has rose petal in it, rose hydrosol in it, and rose wax. So it's going to give all those beautiful uh, properties that rose has in it for strengthening the skin and soothing it. And then there's almond and sesame oils in it for restoring the skin. So just a lighter formula. And again, good for skin that's sensitive and with redness. Then let's look at the Toned Day Cream. So we've got that here. Now this is like, uh, it's like a tinted moisturizer or what we see on the market now is all these BB creams or beauty balms. This is like the original beauty balm. So it's got some color to it. It's, uh, it's actually translucent. So you can see, here we go. There's, you can see it's a little bit of a, cream color like a foundation, but it goes on translucent, so that means that your own skin tone is going to show through. I'm just going to put it on. I don't know if the quality of this video is going to be able to show the difference, but what I notice is that, oh, there we go, <laughs> is um, this is the one, oh, this is, sorry, this is the one that's on. Um, it reduces the redness in the skin. So if there's any redness, it evens that out. Any blotchiness evens that out. Just provides a nice light coverage. So any kind of imperfections just kind of smooths those out. It's a, quite a rich cream too. So it's more appropriate for somebody whose skin is normal to dry. I like it um, in the summertime and in the winter when I'm outdoors. So if I'm spending a lot of time out in nature and I don't want to be wearing heavy foundation and but I do want to just give my skin a little bit of uh, more even out the complexion then the tone day cream is really nice it has quince seed in it beeswax and rose wax so they're very protecting and nourishing then we have the normalizing day oil this comes in the glass jar too with the pump and this is really quite surprising. This is what we use for people with acne and oily skin. So blemished oily skin, we're using an oil. And now that might be really surprising because what we see in a lot of conventional skincare lines is anything for acne or oily skin, it's oftentimes going to be oil free. So this is quite different. This is actually an oil moisturizer for oily skin. And why we're doing this is we're working with the principles from homeopathy. So in homeopathy, we see the principle of 
like cures like. So we're going to be putting an oil onto an oily skin because this sends the message to the oil glands to slow down their oil production. That there's already oil on the surface of the skin so they don't have to be working so hard to make all this oil. So it actually helps to balance the oils out. Now when you use this, I'm just going to bring it back again, you really only need about one or two drops for the whole face. It's, you don't need a lot. It absorbs really nicely in. You don't you're not left looking all shiny and oily. It really absorbs nicely into the skin. And when you use it, you want to make sure that you're putting it right onto those areas of your face where you actually have your breakouts. Um, it has St. John's wort in it and calendula, and these are good for reducing inflammation. So that's why, partly why you want to make sure that you're putting it on the areas where you have your breakouts because it's going to reduce any redness in those areas. Um, and again, you're going to do that patting motion when you put it in, so just patting it on the skin and you'll see how it really absorbs beautifully into the skin. Now this is also a wonderful oil for all skin types to use because it contains apricot, jojoba, almond and wheat germ oil and these are all super high in antioxidants. So it's going to be really nourishing for all skin types. You can use it underneath your regular moisturizer or what I like to do is I can use it as a mask sometimes. Just put it on my skin and leave it on for 10 minutes and then wipe it off. Or I love using it in the summertime when I'm getting a lot more sun exposure because it helps with free radical damage because it's so high in antioxidants. It's nice to either put some on before I go outdoors or when I come back in. So if you're looking for a boost for your skin and you want to really feed your skin some high quality uh, antioxidants, normalizing day oil. Lastly, we have the translucent bronze concentrate. Now this is a, like a bronzer, so I'm going to show a little bit on my hand here again. You'll see it's quite dark, see that? Quite dark. But it also really absorbs nicely into the skin, even though you saw how dark it is. I'm just rubbing it on now. There we go. It's nice. It just gives a nice little bit of a tan glow. You can add this to your any of the moisturizers uh, just to give a little bit more of a sun-kissed glow to the skin. You can also use this straight. I could have put a little bit on my cheeks as a blusher. Um, it also brings down any redness in the skin. So again, with people who have blemished skin, it's nice. It's going to kind of tone down the skin. It has um, mineral pigments witch hazel, olive oil, and beeswax in it. Um, oh, the other thing that I like about the translucent bronze concentrate is I love using it in my body moisturizer. So in when it's getting close to summertime and my skin's a little pale, I'll just put some in my body moisturizer. I love that it doesn't streak, it doesn't go orangey, it really works nicely with all skin types. So. It's a, a very problem-free bronzer. You're not going to have any difficulties using it. So I really enjoyed sharing with you about the Dr. Hauschka Day Creeps. I hope you've been able to find one that's going to be suitable for your skin type. And we'll see you next time.